What's up? Welcome to another episode of Stair Talk. We have two swimmers with us today. We have Steven Kratzer and Emily Wolf. Uh, Emily's a junior. Uh, Steven is a senior, and they both were 2020 MAC qualifiers. So that's pretty cool. How are you guys feeling today? I'm good. I'm a little tired. I'm just Did you guys out have practice. practice this morning? Yeah. Yeah. What, what time, time is that? Uh, 7.30 to 9.30. That's not too bad. Uh, I thought you guys were going to say 6 a.m. We yeah, used to it, do it, but they switched it. Yeah, they had to oh, switch nice. it. For now. Do you guys <laughs> simply get like a full breakfast in before that kind of thing or kind of just take the L and eat after? I eat after. Yeah, definitely. Do you eat anything before or no? Like, do you snack at all or nothing usually? I'll, I'll have like a Nutri-Grain bar, but I don't like to eat too much. Yeah. Before swimming. Um, do you want to tell us, like, your majors and stuff? Yeah, give us a quick, like, bio on each of you. A quick 30-second about yourself. Oh, towns yeah, and bios. majors and, like, I don't know, what event you swim and stuff like that. Okay. Um, so, I grew up in Princeton, New Jersey. And I actually, I graduated in May of 2020 with a degree in criminal justice. And I'm now doing graduate courses in community-based education and leadership. Um, yeah, I swim, what, the 100 fly, 200 free, and the 100 freestyle. And, yeah. You're coming back for round two. Yeah. I, this is my last year of NCAA eligibility. Okay. So. Nice. How long will you do like grad school? Is that a one year program or multiple year? Um, it's a two year program, but it could take longer depending on how many classes you take a semester. Gotcha. gotcha. You're like, I just can't live without the 6 a.m. practices. I have to do it another year. <laughs> yeah, I don't know much. how. I kind of got guilty <laughs> into swimming another year. What did Clark do to bribe you to do that? <laughs> he said we would have a guys team this year. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so. Okay, Emily. Okay. Um, so I'm a junior psychology major. Um, and then on campus, I'm also the president of MAP, and I'm also an ambassador. So that's really fun. Um, and then I'm from Towson, Maryland. So, you know, Stephen is. <laughs> but, like, I live on campus. Um, and then, so my... Coach Clark always loves to tell the story how I came in um, my freshman year, but I, he came in sophomore year of how I told him that I was a 50 freestyler and like he believed me and 50 freestyle wasn't even one of the events I qualified for at max. And then I ended up doing the 400 IM, the 100 fly and the 200 IM and I made finals for them. So I was it was like a big accomplishment for me, but it was just funny because he likes to tell all the recruits like, oh, and she told me she was a 50 freestyler and I actually <laughs> did 400 IM for the first time this year too. So I like never tried that. Mm -hmm. So I think it was like really cool to like, I mean, the 4 IM is not cool, but like it was cool to like not. try to event and find out that I'm like decent at it. Yeah, that's a cool story. Yeah. <laughs> how has uh, swimming been in the world of Corona? <laughs> yeah, how is a virtual meet? Tell us about the virtual meet that just went down. Oh boy. <laughs> um, like, could you guys see, like, I'm assuming that like all everyone, like, does everyone like dive at the same time? Or does it just like, you guys do it at your time, they do it, Hood did it at their time, and then just combined times and scores and stuff? Yeah, I think we, we did it all together as a team at McDonough, and I don't know what hood, what time they were had to meet. Okay. Uh, it could have been the same time, it could have been different. So you guys weren't like necessarily diving at the same exact time? No, okay. no so. it was it was really, really hard to like get into, well at least for me, to get into like the meet mentality. of yeah. Like, oh, it's time to race, but you're like up with your teammates and like our coach is introducing us, like saying this like really <laughs> silly stuff, like right before we're about to dive in. So it's kind of hard to like get in that like meet mm -hmm. mindset. And it sounds where we were just like, I don't know about you, but I know I was just having fun with it. Like, I was goofing off right before we step up. Yeah. We're, like, joking how we're going to die. Yeah. Like, how it's just for fun. So, like, it was really hard to get into that meet mindset without another team there. Mm -hmm. Do you I think, mean, yeah, that's definitely, yeah, like, a whole part think, of it. 
what do you think was more of a, uh, like, do you think it was weirder not having opponents or not having, like, people screaming and, like, cheering? I think it was weirder not having the opponents because I thing. like to uh, race the guy next to me. Yeah. So not having uh, someone on the other team that I was able to, like, try to beat was a little bit, bit difficult. Yeah. Yeah, I would definitely agree with that because I know, like, um, swimming-wise, too, I think this kind of goes for, like, everybody where you'll go faster if there's someone next to you, even if you're that exhausted. If you see them, like, neck and neck, you're like, all right, maybe I have that extra, like, burst left in me. But when you're, like, swimming with, like, your team, you're like, oh, it's, it's my team. Like, yeah. we're all the same team. We're all the like same a, thing. Like an inner <laughs> yeah. squad meet. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, we're going to jump into our first segment, Q&A, Halloween edition. Yeah, Macy was really pumped on. <laughs> I'm pumped on all of the segments that I made for today. <laughs> um, first question, are you guys being anything for Halloween this year? I know it's like different this year, but if you guys are being anything. <laughs> I haven't really thought about it about it too much, but yeah. I was thinking about being a character from this TV show, uh, what Letterkenny. Show? What show? Letterkenny. I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm not. <laughs> it's it's show. a it's such a good show. <laughs> it's a Canadian TV show that it streams on Hulu. Okay. Um, but I was thinking about being one of the main characters off that show. What is he dressed like? Would we know the um, actor or no? Uh no, it just has with the character. He he's like a farmer, so he just has like a flannel and jeans. So it'd be pretty easy. Yeah, that is easy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Emily, you doing anything? Um, I haven't really like. I'm trying to think of like one day at a time. Yeah. So that type of thing. So like, I'm to me like it's still just like Wednesday, and I have like a lot of other work to do. So like, I haven't really like picked anything out just because I want to do something that's not like. I don't know. I want to do something creative, but at the same time, I'm like, I don't know if I have time to even stop to think about that. Yeah. Right. All right. Growing up or like throughout college, whatever, what was your favorite costume that you pulled off? Um, I guess I can go with, she doesn't know yet. Um, <laughs> one of my favorite was, um, I can't remember if it was like middle or like freshman year of high school. Um, I was an injured person because my friend actually had crutches and mm. so I like took her crutches and I was like an injured I think it was in middle school actually I was an injured person so I would like pretend to like crutch up it's like the door mm. and then we would come up with a different story of how I broke my foot every different house but <laughs> we all we all spoke differently so like I would say you know I like tripped and fell making pasta and then my my friend decided to say I jumped off a roof. Like we just had like all these different things and I got so much extra candy because they felt bad for me. Oh, I like, closed the door and I could see me running down the driveway like after I got the candy. <laughs> On to the next hell. It was so sneaky, but it was I was pretty clever. If I must yeah. say so myself. Um, you got a good costume that you had? I feel like when I was in elementary school, I I think for like two or three years in a row, I was Steve Irwin. <laughs> so I had like I a that one hat. costume that they just like reuse. Yeah. 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 I had like a plastic <laughs> snake around my neck. I had like the safari hat and everything, like all the khaki jackets and everything like that. R.I.P. Steve Irwin, true icon. Honestly, yeah. Oh my God, yeah. I was just thinking about him the other day, actually. Oh. I think like one of his kids dressed up as Steve Irwin for Halloween once too. So. Oh, that's so cute. You. Wait, one of Steve Irwin, Irwin's kids dressed up as Steve Irwin? Yeah. Don't they all kind of like dress like that all the time though? Yeah, but I, I swear there is one like where they like purposely like... They all wear, they all work at like a zoo. They all dress like that all the time. <laughs> they all dress the same. <laughs> I guess, I guess. Okay, what's right. your favorite Halloween movie or TV show? I have no idea. Or scary movie. Scary your movie. favorite scary. Um... I really liked Hush. It's on Netflix. I think that's my favorite scary movie, either Hush or Insidious. Because I remember seeing like Insidious for the first time, like in the movie theater with like a bunch of my friends. I got like so scared, I like kicked off my shoe. <laughs> and I like had to get it at the end, and it was like really awkward. But <laughs> I had to say <laughs> Insidious um, or Hush. I, li I like them both. 
Um, I'm not a huge fan of scary movies, but I'd say, (laughs) I don't know if it really counts as a scary movie, because I think it's more of a, like, a thriller, but Split. Oh, that was good. That was good. I really enjoyed that one. Have you guys seen any of these scary movies? (laughs) Have you guys seen the tall movies? Those ones are pretty crazy. No, I haven't seen them. Um, what is your favorite candy? Like when you go out, what are you hoping to get when when you went out? It it kind of depends on the day. Uh, I feel like Snickers or Twix are pretty solid go tos. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think mine um, probably Skittles, Twix. Um, I don't know. I honestly like. There's not really anything I don't like besides Twizzlers. I always traded those out. Twizzlers <laughs> are gross. Yeah, no, I only like the colored Twizzlers. <laughs> oh, yeah, same. Gotta have that Reese's. Mm, that's always a I good mean, one, too, yeah. That's a good choice. All right, last one. Favorite Halloween activity, like carving pumpkins or, like, trigger treating or, I don't know, baking, like, Halloween treats or something. <laughs> Favorite fall activity, we'll do that. Um, okay. I always enjoyed carving pumpkins and then making a uh, pumpkin, like cooking the pumpkin seeds. Oh, uh, pumpkin seeds are so good. So. Or your favorite, or your favorite, like um, Halloween activity or fall activity could be like going to Starbucks and getting a pumpkin spice or something. <laughs> That's an activity. I just thought of that. Oh gosh. Yeah, I'm not like a big fan of like, pumpkin flavored things like I just like don't like it but yeah, I think pumpkin spice coffee is garbage I, I, is I haven't even tried it I don't even I've never try tried it either but I know I won't <laughs> like it I yeah no mm. I don't but um I don't know I guess fall activity I like going to field of screams I mean it's been like pretty fun but I haven't gone this year oh, uh, I don't think I will go this year I used but, to go when I was in like middle school and high school I didn't know yeah. that. I didn't I kind of forgot about those <laughs> They used to, like, legit scare me when they would come out with, like, the fake chainsaws and, like, put it next to your neck. It still legit scares me, They was like There was one time there was this, like, dead bride or something, and she hopped up on the hayride, and, like, she's, like, running down the middle of the hayride, and, like, I stuck out my leg, and I (laughs) tripped her. (laughs) And I was like, good, because she was scary. Macy and I have like a knockoff version of that by us, Legend of the Fog. I don't know if you know, but it's oh like, yeah, I haven't been there. But well, it's just like this is in Pennsylvania, right? Yeah, and then Legend of the Fog is like in Aberdeen. Yeah, isn't there one more this comparable to uh to Field of Screams? Isn't there? I don't remember. I think there's a Field of Screams in Maryland or mm-hmm. something like that, but I don't think it's as good as the one in Pennsylvania. Are they doing? I've heard that they're doing. I don't know about Field of Screams, but I'm pretty sure Legends of the Fog is doing like. You drive up, you drive your car yourself through the thing. Oh now. gosh, that would not end well for no. me. No, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a big no for me. Like, if they feel a bump, be like, oops. <laughs> that would not end well. I scare really easily, so like, that just would not go well. Legends of the Fog has, like, you start out walking, or it used to be like this. You start out walking, it's just like a big house, and it's like chains and like fencing everywhere and there's a strobe light and you have to yeah, get the out strobe like, light was yeah, crazy. Just, literally I, I still have like PTSD from it because it's, me and my sister were like the, stuck in there forever the strobe <laughs> light is in like the room of like all mirrors if I remember correctly yeah the, there was a the room with all room mirrors like and all then mirrors. you'll get out and then that's when you hop on the hayride oh my gosh and I was like about to call it quits there I'm like no, no, no. <laughs> I'm done I can't do it anymore <laughs> <laughs> all right we're gonna quiz your trivia your stevenson oh swimming knowledge now all right uh, do you want to explain the first one though Macy? okay yeah I'll, I'll do the first one okay so who was the first stevenson stevenson um swimmer to break a record so this doesn't mean like in 2014 when the team first started so and so swam the 50 freestyle and now she has the record. It's like she. It's like breaking okay, someone well, else's record. Fifty freestyle that the record is. Oh, is it? Okay, well, whatever. Um, 
so like oh boy so yeah i'll pass that to steven since he's been longer than <laughs> than i oh, have I don't so know. i'll pass that to him <laughs> So it would be like technically broken probably the following year mm -hmm. per se um and like yes, they can't like if so and so swam the 100 freestyle and then swam it again two weeks later that's not a break, breaking a record because it, they already had it mm -hmm. and like there was no one else who swam it so who like okay. broke who really like does, really this record, broke the does this record still stand do you know or do you know um any? no okay. uh, no definitely not okay <laughs> we did it like that. It was a long time um, ago. It was a long time ago. And you guys are faster now. Yes, Steven. No, I have no Tell idea. Us. I'm trying to think of like well, who was on the team back then. Okay, I'll back tell you the day. Year. It was. I'll tell you the year. It was November 2015. Yeah, I was still okay. in high school. <laughs> I mean, I was in high school too. But so that was the senior class that graduated in 2019. Correct. Um, I'm trying to think, because I think Liv Snyder swam sprint freestyle. That's not the answer, though. I'm not. <laughs> trying to think, I have no idea then. Like, <laughs> it was Julie, Julie Burnett. It was, oh, it was Julie. Oh, yeah. right. I okay. thought about her. And I was then, thinking Julie. If you guys right. were wondering, Andrew Sears was the first um, male to break a record. Mm -hmm. Now that I think about it, it's kind of a silly question, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the next one's good. All right, which okay. current or former oh yeah did a lot woman, of woman swimming member currently holds the most records in the record book? Like so, I, not, so not overall like most rec total records. Most total records currently. So like someone could have had at one time fifteen records, but like mm -hmm. it over time other people have broke them so it's currently as of today yeah i mean i i feel like mel has that one yeah yeah, mel yeah. i mean that's she's a beast like i yeah she has 10 records colby yeah, has nine juliana burnett and isabel ramblin have eight for your beast talk about beasts yes. <laughs> do you know who has the most men's records um it, that's the next question is it zach cather yeah it is yeah. And then you, Steven, Andrew Sears, and Jack Leon are tied with six. Jacques. Jacques Leon or Jack? It's like, I think it's Jack. We used to call him Jack Jack. <laughs> when I was writing it down, I was like, Jacques. <laughs> um, okay. Non Stevenson trivia question, but still swimming related. Who was named the male Fina swimmer of the year three times? From 2010 to 2017. Michael Phelps? I, yeah, that was gonna be. <laughs> What's it? No. no. One more guess. Um, could have been Ryan Lochte. Yeah. Yay! Yeah, I was gonna say Ryan Lochte or Nathan Adrian. What summer? Didn't one of the swimmers like fake getting robbed or get yeah. Ryan Lochte? <laughs> Ryan Lochte, that'd be him. <laughs> Did he fake getting a robbed or assaulted? I don't remember. Yeah, I think yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. He faked Bob getting a robbed in a gas. Yeah. Yep. At the Rio Olympics. Did you guys ever watch? What did they say um, he took? Or what I, did, I don't know. I, I, don't I think remember. Think he said that someone stole his wallet, but wallet. Yeah, something like wallet. over exaggerated. Yeah. Did you guys? Did you guys ever watch? Um, Ryan Lochte's reality TV show? No, but I've seen clips of it. It was like, what would Ryan Lochte do? Oh, yeah. I've seen the, like ads for that. Me and like... my sister, me and my sister were obsessed with it because he's so dumb. It's so funny. No, but then like the one time he like dyed his hair like or like bleached it blonde, I was just like, they were in like platinum. Yeah, I was like, Ugh. <laughs> it was funny. It was it was only on for like one season, but it was funny. yeah. <laughs> I didn't think it lasted. But so, like, I'm long. not surprised that it was only one. Yeah, they they didn't get called back. All right, who, who was the oldest swimmer t to compete at an Olympics, and what age? You don't need to know the age. I just put it there. But if you do know the age, <laughs> I, I, bonus I, points. I don't remember her name. I think it started, it was like Dana or Diana or something. Oh, Dana Yeah, That was Dana. 
Yeah. And, yeah, my and girl was like, Dana. And she was like 40 or something like that. 41. 41. You know and she job. just had a baby before it, right? Dana yeah, Torres. So. That's... Yeah, Dana Torres. Yeah. Amazing. Like, I know, um, I like looked up her as a kid too. I remember there was just like one Olympics where, or even it was like in trials or something where like a girl like ripped her suit. And like Dana gave her another one, and I'm just like, you have that like at that level, and you're still like willing to like help someone out who like ripped a suit like at that level, like because I feel like Olympians are kind of like, oh whatever, I'm here for me, like whatever. Yeah. The fact she did that for like that woman was like amazing to me as like a kid yeah. hearing about that. I like that. I like the mm -hmm. bonus question, Macy. I just saw it. <laughs> oh, okay, last one. <laughs> do pump it. <laughs> do. Do pumpkins grow in on the in the ground on vines or on trees? You didn't put the answer, so I hope you. I, remember I, I know the answer. Sorry. I think they're like I, on top of the ground, like on a vine or something. Uh, that's what I was gonna say. Yeah. So I just went to a pumpkin patch, <laughs> so I'd hopefully really get that at, one right. Really good at trivia. Thank God. I'm 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 I actually don't do very well. I was so nervous. <laughs> you said trivia, and I was like, "Oh my God, I'm gonna embarrass myself." Okay, now we're gonna play Would You Rather Swimming Edition. Um, oh boy. <laughs> I'm excited. Oh, me? This. All right. Would you rather swim a thousand yard butterfly or 1650 backstroke? I was told that 1650 is a mile. Macy used to swim. Mm -hmm. I did not. Oh, yeah, I swam. <laughs> I'll, I'll I... take the 1650. Yeah. I hate distance stuff, but even just doing a 200 fly, like, being completely gassed after that, doing a thousand. That yeah, I'll take yeah, the sixteen fifty. I do the sixteen fifty backstroke. Too. You could just do an easy like Sunday <laughs> right. swim backstroke. Yeah. You breathe all the time. Butterfly, yeah, you're butterfly. always drowning. Yeah. Even if you do it slow, like it still like takes a lot out of you. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. it's no. <laughs> that was okay. Easy. Would you rather jump in a green pool and swallow a mouthful of water, or shave shave off all? of your hair including your head like every hair on your body pretty unfortunate I mean, question i i would take the green water because i've definitely jumped in a green pool before <laughs> <laughs> i haven't don't think i've swelled the water but uh yeah i mean i i i do that i love my hair and um yeah so yeah. i'll take the pool I, I don't i don't know if i would enjoy swallowing the green water <laughs> But did you I, enjoy I, losing I, all your hair though? No, I, I, I kind of, I kind of like my hair. So your hair is like, longer than mine. Yeah, so you have it in a bun. <laughs> I do. Yeah. Oh, there you go, Jay. That's what you should do. Man uh, bun. No. <laughs> He's like, uh, not really. Your hair's long. We'll though. see. We'll see. All right. <laughs> <He's> like, <laughs> Would you rather have your whole body turn bright blue whenever you jump in a pool, or? Only have practices outside during Maryland in the winter. I feel so like you would turn bright blue. Yeah, that's either practices. way. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, blue is my favorite color, so I'd be fine with turning blue. <laughs> yeah, I think it'd be pretty cool to turn blue. Uh, blues, light blue is one of my favorite colors. Um, yeah, I guess with I'd go with blue, but I don't I know. Lately, the winters here have been pretty warm. I'd be yeah, pretty stoked so. if I was watching the Olympics and like one of the swimmers was just like shining bright blue. <laughs> Wait, that what, what's cool. that movie with Amanda Bynes and Freddie, whatever his name is? Murphs. I'm just kidding. Oh, no, that? That where they turn the guy bright blue when he when he um. She's the man. No. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were gonna say that. Oh, big fat liar. Oh, oh okay. You know, I haven't seen it. Oh, you need to watch. Amanda Vines is in that. Yeah, it's like an old. It's from like two thousand something, probably two thousand two. <laughs> I don't even remember. Frankie the... Muniz. Yeah, I remember mm -hmm. Frankie Muniz. They turn. They. That's the villain I'm picturing in my head. <laughs> All okay, right. Um. Last one. Would you rather accidentally belly flop at a championship meet or accidentally swim an extra lap? at a championship meet? Probably swim an extra lap. Yeah? Yeah. From I experience, don't... from experience, <laughs> one time I accidentally swam an extra lap at a championship meet. 
and your time still counts. So yeah. take that with what you, you just will. kept yeah. swimming? Or wait, what do you mean? Um, like, like say you are swimming a 500 freestyle and you accidentally swim a 550. Like when yep. your feet were to, or your hand, in this case feet because you're continuing your uh -huh. laps, your feet hit the wall, they're still going to end your time at that at mark. At the 500 mark? Yeah. yeah. So you, so you I mean, still get an official time, but you if you were to time. belly flop, like your race really isn't going to be that's, that. Yeah, that's what I was kind of wagering. So I was like, well, if you do a belly flop, everyone's going to know that you did a belly flop. As soon as you dive, the, the smack you hear when you do a belly flop regardless, like everybody hears it. Like when we do dives in practice, like yeah. we all know if you don't look, but like if you do an extra <laughs> lap, People might not necessarily see that, but at least your time will still be accurate. So yeah, I guess I'd go with the extra lap. Because the belly flop, like, it's just amazing too. And just swimming in general, like how much like a second is, like just like literally like a, a blink or like, you know, just like, yeah. like if you did belly flop, that could take a lot of seconds that you've like worked hard for throughout the season. So yeah, yeah I definitely take the extra lap, even though I hope neither happens ever <laughs> to anybody, but. <laughs> Okay, so last um, section is rapid fire questions. I'm going to put on a three minute timer on my phone and you have, I have 15 questions and you have to, we'll do like, I'll, yes, I'll say the question and we'll have like Steven say his answer first and then Emily will go second. We have to answer it like immediately, like you can't think about it. Oh boy. I'm glad I'm going second. I got lucky with that. Yeah, <laughs> I have a couple more seconds. <laughs> okay, I just, I'm setting my alarm. We're setting the timer. Jay, do you just want me to say them all or? Oh, okay. I don't care. Okay, I'll just say them all so it's quicker. If it's okay. Great. Okay, are you guys ready? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> all right, ready? Go. If you could buy any food right now, what would you buy? Uh, pancakes. Pizza. <laughs> Who's your favorite superhero? Uh, Batman. Don't have one. <laughs> Who's your favorite comedian, past or present? Um, right now, I'm a big fan of Bill Burr. Uh, Kevin Hart. Yeah. Who would you want to play you in a movie about your life? Anyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, anyone that just has good acting skills and is friendly. <laughs> okay, best thing about being a swimmer? Uh, you can eat a lot and not gain a whole lot of weight. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say being able to eat a lot amount of food. <laughs> okay, if you could cameo on any TV show, what would it be? I, I can know. answer that for you. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> uh, can I pass? Sure. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, you would probably say Letter Kenny, but I would say Grace Kenny. <laughs> What's the worst thing that has ever happened to you during a swim race? Um, my goggles came around my mouth and I couldn't breathe. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> my swimsuit strap fell down. <laughs> no, that's oh my god, it was worse. It was so embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> what was the last thing that you Googled? Um I think I Googled the location of the nearest Chipotle. <laughs> nice, nice. Um, honestly, probably Blackboard, like just to get to the site. Cause, yeah. yeah. Who is your favorite person to follow on Instagram? Um, Kale Dressel. Mm, he's funny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I mean, somebody's probably Nathan Adrian. I think he's really inspirational. What is the swimming or college accomplishment that you're most proud of? Um, graduating? Yeah, I was going to say, you graduated. You better say that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Um, placing in the top 15 in the 4 a.m., even though it was the first year that I did it. Awesome. Okay, real serious. Beyonce or Rihanna? <laughs> Ooh, Beyonce. <laughs> yeah, Queen B takes okay. the crown on that one. Rihanna. What advice, what advice would you give to um, a high school swimming recruit? Um, make sure you pick a team that you get along with and a coach that you agree with their uh, practice mentality. Mm -hmm. Um, just take things one step at a time and know that it's not as scary as you think. 
and that once you get to know everybody you know the coach and know how things work like it's a lot of fun who's your favorite professional swimmer caleb dressel um probably nathan adrian <laughs> go to pump up song um uh remember the name oh, we're out of time Fort Minor. yeah uh, i do i do it by big sean Okay, right. last one. We'll just keep going. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> you guys almost you guys made it with only one question left. So that was good. Oh darn. They already um, answered this one though. Last <laughs> question. Oh yeah. Oh that's true. So technically you guys um finished it all, but you, you already told us what you had for breakfast. Alright, but you gotta tell us what you mm -hmm. eat after practice then. Okay, so after practice today, I had a ham and turkey sandwich and a vanilla protein shake. Mm. Wait, what's a vanilla pro Oh, never mind. <laughs> I, I thought you said, I, for some reason, it processed in my mind like a vanilla smoothie. So I just like, uh -huh. wait, what's a vanilla smoothie? <laughs> You're like, what's that? Our um, timer's counting down, but quick, you guys got to tell us your favorite Coach Clark story. Like, we would play Would You Rather and like, we would play Never Have I Ever and just hearing like, having him play too has been like, I'm not going to out him, but it was, it was. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I would, I would say like any of the van trips back from meets, and because he would just like crack jokes and it would just be it would just be a lot of fun. It would be so much funny, like it would just be hilarious. <laughs> we should get we should mic him up one time. Oh, yeah. so, it would be so would funny. Be funny. Okay, final right. thing: any shout outs or motivational quotes? Motivational quotes for the people. Um. I don't, I don't know. Uh, I would say, like, as for, like, motivation, like, try to remove can't from your vocabulary. Uh, like, whoever, yeah. if you think that you can do it, you're more likely to be able to do it. Awesome. That was, like, original, too. You didn't just Yeah, that. I think the first person who's gone the motivational quote route. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, like what am I, I guess, I don't know if my mom came up with this or is, this is a regular quote or not, but my mom always used to tell me when you're tired, kick harder. Um, and then also, I guess I'll shout out the team now because we're having so much fun together. And so it's been so much fun getting to know everybody. And I'll also like shout out, you know, the old team because like I miss them dearly and I really look up to a lot of them as role models. Um, yeah. Steven, awesome. my neighbor, Steven, my neighbor's dad told me I should stop saying just because I say just before a lot of things like, oh, I was just I like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> my, my TKO, I take TKO classes and the, I just said professor, the instructor always tells me that to stop saying sorry, like, oh, sorry, <laughs> oh, sorry, <laughs> and then I go, oh, sorry, sorry, <laughs> that's another thing, like, those, like, words, like, just and can't and sorry are just, like, I said just, but, um, they're, like, they're, like, um filler words and they just yeah, make like, you, they make you seem like you're insecure yeah so i like that well thank you for your time we're about to get kicked off it's telling us we've less than a minute <laughs> yeah we don't have the money right. for the premium <laughs> understandable thank you guys for that. having yeah. me thank you thank yeah. you good luck with swimming and morning practices and all that fun stuff thank you <laughs> thank you have fun thanks bye guys See you guys. Bye. Bye.